Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Paper Mario. Last time we took down the Fire of Elemental after discovering what the hell we were supposed to do with uh, this little puzzle over here. Yeah, this one. We had to make all the birds face the uh, center, which when, uh, when I recorded that last episode, I hadn't actually realized the uh, solution was just written in the murals. I noticed it when I was editing and I felt dumb. So, yeah. So, now we have to collect all of the gems. I believe we're missing two of them. Because I have one in my inventory right now, I just haven't turned it in. But what I want to do first is, I noticed something else when uh, I was editing my videos. The uh, room with the toad in the hotel that's like, on the wave? I, I think I know how to get to the other side of that room. It was just one of those moments of epiphany while I was, uh editing where I just happened to notice it. Kind of like how I did the seesaw thing, but I didn't notice that during editing. It was just kind of happened. There's also the L Luigi uh, place over there. I thought once we got Luigi out, they would kind of clear those boxes and I would be able to get to that area over there, but it doesn't seem like that's the case. So yeah, this is what I saw. You can kind of hop up on these speakers here and yeah, you can hop in here, I guess. Yeah. Okay, so that's how you get back here. Um, all right, we can tear this off so we can get here easily. Uh, we got some boxes with a single coin in it. Yay. Oh, Jesus. Hi. Huh, that was interesting. The, uh, rats actually have an attack. Oh, hello. Uh, the rats actually have an attack like the, uh, bandits in the other Paper Mario games where they can, like, bump into you and steal your bunny, and then they try to run away. Interesting. Oh, the valve. Oh, is this how we turn the water off? All right. Aha, you little jerk. Stop riding that toad. Uh, don't read into that. Don't, please. Aw, oh, man, what happened to my wave? Eh, fountain surfing was played out anyway. I'm gonna go back to my room and invent tub surfing. Okay. Ooh, wait, he says he's gonna go back to his room. Some of the doors were locked. Maybe that means we can access them now? Surfing isn't as fun when you're the board. Oh, well, that's all behind me. I'm free. Feel free to pursue a life where no one can take advantage of me again. I was actually here for a conference on investing. Something about the pyramids in the area. Aw, oh, but you don't want to hear about that scheme. Here, take this. Just a small token of my gratitude. Hey, that's one of our max up hearts. Cool, cool. Yeah, you seemed like an important toad, so it makes sense that uh, you would have a max up heart. I think your HP just increased again, Mario, and you seem a bit stronger to boot. Yeah. All right, so we got that. A little late, but we got it, because we could have had that before we went and fought the boss, which might have been useful. Yeah, we have the round jewel. Um, and still a lot of toads missing in Shroom City, surprisingly. I kind of thought I was doing well with toads here. But, let's see if these rooms have opened up now. Maybe? Uh, I don't think this one... No, 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 this one opened before. This, yeah, yeah, this one did, because I remember reading that. No, 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 it was the one on the other side. And it was only one room, it wasn't two rooms. Because, yeah, that one has the missing part of the mural that I mentioned. Because we couldn't read about all of the adventures of this, like, Toad King. But now we can. Oh, and you have a collectible. The Ring Trainer. Hey. Alright. What about this? Shroom City Chronicle, black water and massive coinage. Shroomses finds water, riches flow, so he found oil. You just gonna jump on your... No. Tub. Four. Tub. Surfing. Oh. Well. This. Is. Pretty. Fun. <laughs> I just, I, I thought, once I started, I thought I would just go through it, go with it all the way. Uh, whoop, nope, didn't mean, do you think she saw those? Yeah, blah, blah. Okay, sorry, I didn't mean to press you. I meant to press, uh, Y. Wait, no, 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 not Y. Start. What accessory do I have on right now? How are we doing on hidden blocks in this area? We have 88% of them in Shroom, 
in Shroom City, so I might switch to the Toad Radar now. Just because we have a fair amount of the hidden blocks. And yeah, we still do have to find all of those, um... Uh, the last... We have to put the jewel in, and we have to find the other two, because I think there's... Like, the review my... Yeah. To find my eye... Okay, we found that one. Near Walls of Waves. A fire's place. An eye is there by earth encased. Walls of Waves. A fire's place. Does that mean inside the fire of Elemental Temple? An eye is there by earth encased. Beneath the feet of twins, yeah, we found that one. And Eclipse the Sun Above the Lake, yeah, that's the one we got, so... Alright, we just need that one. And I'm guessing that means the fire place, right? Okay, so... I just want to investigate this. Can we... Can we get here, through here at all? Uh, oh! Oh, there we go! Oh, it's, it's over here. Okay, that makes sense. And it's telling me there's a toad over here, too. Yep, there it is. Okay, so that was just for a toad. Phew, got my beat freedom back for free. Oh, you're, you're one of the ones that was trapped by him, Jesus. Okay, so that was, that was it. That was all that was over there. I kind of expected more, gonna be honest. But we're not getting any more. I honestly kind of expected the last bit of the um, hidden blocks to be over there, but no such luck. Yeah, we can't do anything over here. All right, so... Let's just, uh, go ahead and continue now, I suppose. And there's a toad here? Here. Um... Yeah, I don't see anything. I wonder if there's ever a way we can get up onto the roof of that, because it looks like that's something. Yeah, I don't see a toad around there. Huh. I do notice there's, like, a little weird bit of the sign up there, where there's just, like, a toad symbol, or, like, a mushroom symbol. See, right here. I don't see a way I would be able to interact with that, though. Hmm. Weird. Alright, well, let's just continue, and, like I said, we need to find out where this other note is leading us. Walls of Waves. Yeah, I'm guessing that's the elemental temple. Wait, 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 wait. What about the fountain? And there, it had waves. There are walls of waves, a fire's place. Yeah, but it says a fire's place. Walls of waves, a fireplace. I is there about everything case. Okay. Yeah, all right. I, I don't think we can use um, his shovel inside anyway. So, yeah, I think we're going to check the temple first. To see if we can find anything in there. Because, yeah, I would really like to get in this temple. I have had a pretty good time with this area so far, though, besides being incredibly confused last time about the actual solution to this puzzle over here. It's been a pretty fun area, and I like being able to travel around in the boot car. Although it does take a little bit longer to traverse to each zone, as it were. Yep, he's studying all right. Okay, so a fire's place. This this must mean either like this or like there's a brazier or a fireplace somewhere. Uh, where this place is at? So near walls. Oh yeah, I mean it. Hmm. Yeah, we it couldn't be in here because you can't come in here with us. Yeah, so we can't dig. Okay, so it must not be here. Now I'm thinking it may actually be where the where the fountain was again. Alright, uh, back to the fountain, I guess. Huh, okay, I, I thought for sure this would be it. I tried digging in, like, these spots. There's no fire here, though. A fire's place. Huh. I hope I'm not just missing something simple again, but 
The fire temple was my first thought because it says fire's place, and then this uh, this place had waves before I got rid of them. Uh, and yeah, there's just nowhere here for fire, really. Hmm. Also, I notice. Yeah, you don't have anything on that one. So I was gonna hit that one to see if it did something. And that's not a toad. Uh, okay, I'm... Oh, wait. Oh, oh, that was... Oh, I hit that and it made a noise, so I thought something happened, but no, that was just the sound of me accidentally hitting Professor Toad. Uh... A fire's placed by Earth in case. I mean, there's, like, torches on the wall, but... Yeah. Okay, well, back to the drawing board, I guess. But... Uh... Okay. Uh, during my exploring, I was just, uh, digging up these various spots. I actually got all the ones on the screen here. I don't think they respawn, so I thought I would just grab them all. And... I got a collectible treasure from it. That one's pretty easy to miss, I guess. But yeah, then most of them just had money, or all of them just had money, except for that one. All the other ones, at least. And there's also one over here. Um, Is this what it means? I was kind of just re-exploring every area, and I come here and immediately see... Waves. But it says... What does it say exactly? Yeah. Near walls of waves, a fire's place. I don't see, like, fire symbols, though, unless it means the sun? Also, there's a bunch of these glowing spots here. I guess I should grab these. So, near walls of waves, walls of waves, a fire's place. I mean, that would make me think sun. Or wait, no, 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 is it like I said before? Yeah, a fireplace. Okay, okay, never mind, never mind. So we'd probably just have to go right to the wall of waves. And, uh, yep, here's another spot. Like I said, I don't know if these respawn or not. But I was kind of just getting them all. Because, I mean, hey, it's free money. And I was off screen, so I could just take however long I wanted. Yeah, it must mean right here. Near walls of waves, a fire's place. Wow, that one was... That one was a bit harder than the other ones. Like, the water one wasn't that hard, because there's only one place with water, but, like... Near Walls of Waves, uh, Fire's Place, like... I wasn't taking it literally enough, basically. Like, I was- I was thinking it was something special, or... There was- there was some reading into it required, but no, it literally means a wall of waves and a fireplace. Okay, so these do respawn. They do. Here's, here's, here's another one, and I, I would have totally gotten this one before. So, okay, they do respawn. Well, I'm happy I found that collectible treasure before uh, I realized that. Because I would have just been ignoring them forever. I suppose it wouldn't have been too bad to find with the uh, little uh, radar thing, though. So, now we have to go to the right over here. And we gotta put the gym in this bad boy. Or it might already have a gym, but now we have the fire elemental power, so we should be able to light things, too. So let's mosey on up here to the top. And what do we got? Fire elemental? Whoa, it's spinning! Could it be the fire elemental's magic circle? Could be. Be shocked if it wasn't. Yep, yep, we, we've seen it. You get to do your Super Sentai pose for us once. Yeah, you give it to him, Moltres. Hey! Olivia, you burned up! Amazing! They didn't teach this in school, and I minored in regenerative immolation. Ooh. Excuse me? Why would you minor in that? Regenerative immolation, why? That sounds awful. Wow, I really lit up this space. Oh my gosh, I set all of that black water on fire. Now it's bright in here. Wow, good lighting sure makes a difference. Was something else supposed to happen other than the lighting being improved? Yeah, we haven't put the eye in yet. 
There we go, good old square eye. That was in a very well hidden spot, I might- I must say. That riddle was, uh, stumping me there for a bit. But basically, as soon as I got back to that area and I saw, like, the walls with stuff, I was like, oh. Interesting. Alright, that's two. We have two more we need to do, and it's slowly filling in, like, more patterns or whatever? <laughs> How's Mario posed like that? Hehe, <laughs> I knew what was going to happen this time, so I didn't fall down. Oh yeah, because the thing shook. He was- he was steadying himself. Alright, so... Two more to go. Oh, you guys gonna comment? Oh, so this one changed direction too. Yup, it sure did. Alright, now over to the right side. How many, uh, how many other toads do we have in the desert, actually? I wonder how many we're missing here? Oh, well, we're technically in town now, so it wouldn't tell me. Oh wait, no, in the- in the minor and major deserts, we got, like, everything, didn't we? I believe so. Yeah... Fire Emblem- wow, we 100% of the Fire Emblem like we gave, too. I forgot about that. And yeah, yeah, honestly, in the smaller deserts, we did fantastic. It's just a big major desert. Luckily, this area is completed, so I know these things don't have anything in them. Besides just cash. Yes, fuel efficiency on my vehicle is amazing, Professor. Alright, here we are. Go ahead and put the old circle gym in here. Or round gym, sorry. And boom. Here I go, do you want me to skip the whole performance? Yeah. At least I give you the option to do that. Oh. And there's my boot, just chilling. I wonder how they came up with the idea for a boot car. Like what? What made them decide that was that was what the design they wanted to go with for their vehicle. Just oh yeah, it's a boot. <laughs> it's just it's just interesting. Ah. Okay, so we're starting to get something. Hello plane flying by overhead. Oh you fell on your ass, this or er, stomach, not ass. Professor, are you okay? Oh, oh yes. Sorry, sorry about that. I suppose I'm not as swashbuckling as some of my colleagues. Well, you sure can toss money with quite an arm. I've seen you murder, like, four enemies with one, uh, dig. Now this tower is facing a new direction, too. They must all do that, huh? Yup. That is the point. Okay, so now I believe it's... Oh, sorry, Pokey. Just got gore all over the front of my boot. Um, now it's... The uh, one to the left, because I couldn't light it. The only one I was able to light was in the major uh, desert area. So the one over here to the left should be the one I have to do now. Yep. And then we're done. Yeah, ha, ha. All right. So, well, we had that one episode where we kind of just explored all these things way earlier than we were supposed to. But uh, now we're making up, uh, time. Getting a lot of progress done in this episode, at least. Even found some toads. That I did not find before. Uh, yep, you're already in, so boom. Yep. Sure do want you to skip it. Yes, we know, the eye is in. It is indeed. The professor is still astonished. He's like, how is it already in? And turn. Boom. And there we go. I have successfully filled it in. Oh, it's a earth elemental circle. Okay. Wait, I don't need to fall down, do I? I'm floating. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep, you're floating. You don't have to worry about the earthquake, really. Unless something smacked you in the head while you were floating. 
And that would be unfortunate and probably painful. Yep, this one turned also. Alright. Now away we go. Dodge the cacti. And boom. The boot car is nice. When, when is the boot car going to make an appearance in uh, Mario Kart? I want this to be Mario's vehicle. Uh, well, where am I going? I'm going right past my objective. <laughs> Alright, so there we go. Finally going to get to this yellow streamer. Whoa, could it be the Earth Elemental's magic circle? It, it could be, yeah. Oop, I didn't mean to read that. I meant to jump. There we go. Alrighty. Yeah, we've seen... We've seen this one. You're, you're, you're cute, Olivia, but we don't need to see it every time. Big roar. Oh, you're not doing the pom-poms this time? Why no pom-poms? Whoa, those toad statues are creepy. I don't like their smile. It's unnerving. And that's like... That's like Toad, Toad. Because a lot of the Toads in this game, I feel, don't wear that kind of garb, but like, the normal, like, Toad that was just a character in, like, uh, Mario, Bro Mario Bros. 2, and, uh, he's in some of the other ones. He wears, like, those, that weird vest. Goodness, this must be the Temple of Shrooms itself! So this is what it meant by desert, sand, and tombs. Ah, the Ancient Ones did love a good cryptic hint. That they did. Now that the temple is awake, do you think we can follow the streamer? It leads into the cracks, see? You're right, the streamer certainly appears to terminate inside the temple. Come on, let's find the entrance. I can't help but notice we could get in there if the streamer was gone. I'm gonna have to remember that. Or try to. <laughs> I could always get it on a run back, but... It seems like that may be something we can only access. Or, it definitely seems like something we can only access once we've destroyed the streamer. I had to cut out a lot of this video, so the recording's already at 31 minutes, but I think we should keep going. Is there a save point out here? Oh, it saves when we... when we exit. Okay, well, that makes things easier then, huh? Whenever I need to save, I just exit. Alright, into the Temple of Shrooms. Uh, excuse me, that wall? Hmm, yes. It seems that this may be the final resting place of the ancient king Shroomses. I've also discovered that a sort of safety mechanism is responsible for burying the temple in the sand. When the sun went out, the temple retreated into the earth for safekeeping. Oh, so the temple wasn't just taking a nap or something? Er, no. It's a king's temple, so it was designed this way to ward off intruders, interlopers, infidels, and, er, unauthorized visitors. In any case, we should be quite careful as we explore. This temple is almost certainly rigged with traps. Reminds me of, um... One of my favorite stories that I learned in, um... Uh, my... Oh, jeez. Hello. Ah, uh, wow, spiders. Uh... Yeah, so one of my favorite stories that I learned in my Asian history classes was the tomb of the, uh... Of China's first emperor. He was basically obsessed with immortality and did things like eat jade and uh, drink mercury and stuff to try and prolong his life and become immortal. Um, and when they made his tomb, it's actually a giant, giant underground complex that's still in China today and it's never been explored because basically he made like channels in his, uh, in his tomb, like that, you know, channels usually for holding water, except he put mercury in it. So... There's so much gas and all kinds of poisonous things there, it's never been opened. And also the Chinese government just doesn't want anybody going inside. But yeah, it's a completely unopened tomb that is filled with poison gas, and he's just chilling. What a what a legacy to have. Just have your tomb still be unexplored to this day, because you made it such a death trap. Uh, hi. Well, that was unexpected. <laughs> Alright, so we got more of these spiders. We haven't had a fight this episode, so I guess we can show this. Hmm. Is it just me, or is it getting much more difficult to line up all these folded soldiers? You have no idea. If it ever feels totally impossible, try holding Y to get the audience of Toads to help by cheering you on. Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I could do that, but that costs money. 
So we have to do this in two ring moves, huh? I mean, hmm. Uh, that doesn't work. Neither does that. Uh, all right, you know what? Cheer. Cheer me on. Go for it. What are we doing? Uh, oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I wasn't seeing that at all. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. So, yeah, using those are pretty useful, I guess. I suppose I should start doing it more. I mean, money is, like, no object in this game, and what else am I going to spend it on, so... I might as well just use the toad sometimes if I'm ever really, really stumped on a puzzle. Because then I can learn how to solve that puzzle for the future. Yeah, and I mean, I am collecting these toads, so why not use them? Although it's something I have to be sparing with. Because, yeah, we don't want to just run out of money. Alright, so... Ooh, what is this down here? Oh, hello. Oh, and a hidden block. Gimme. Thank you. I always like to check those to make sure there's never another block on top, because the game just loves doing that. Alright, are there any toads in here? There are. I was gonna say, I'll take off my toad radar if there's not, but... It, uh, seems like there are. This is always a cool aesthetic. I always like the pyramid aesthetic in games. I really, really like to dry, dry desert. Uh, hi, you look like you're gonna become stairs at some point. Uh, I really like to dry, dry desert in Paper Mario 1. Just the area, having a big desert to explore and all of that. It was a cool idea and I really, really liked it. It made me feel like an explorer. The left sign is more useful. <laughs> Rude. But how do I get the left sign? I'm not sure how to get it to appear. Check. Ah, dead end, is it? Or is it? In archaeology, one never knows. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to actually hit you in the head. <laughs> I apologize. That is, that was not my intent. The left sign is more useful. Yeah, so we gotta... Left sign is more useful. Hmm. So we gotta find out some way to get... You. But I don't know how, since the stairs aren't here. It looks like they're just invisible. Let's check with you. Ooh, it's frustrating that there aren't any stairs on the left. Could we dig up a clue somehow? <gasps> Ooh, okay. Um, dig here? Aha! Okay, yeah, I... I... Wasn't going to do digging, so I'm glad she mentioned that. But now we should dig in all of these places, because who knows when there could be something hidden. Oh cool, a flashy hammer, or shiny hammer. There we are. Okay, so we should dig wherever we see some of those. Were there any back here? There was. Eve Ho. Is there... No, there's not anymore. Okay. So, boom. Uh, grab. And... Boom. Here we go. Some nice cardboard stairs. How nice that they came out in just the perfect arrangement. Okay, so left sign, what do you got for me? Ah, this one is very complex. The grammar is of an ancient type, even for ancient writing. Goodness, even the interrobangs have been reversed. This will take me some time, I'm afraid. Oh, okay, cool. Thank you. <laughs> it's good that that's the whole point, is so that he stays there. So I can go over here. There we go. Can you keep that racket down while I'm translating? No, where was I? Whoa, when did that happen? While you were translating. To be honest, I could spend a few more hours on the left set of text, but I suppose the time isn't right. Very well, onward. Alright, I could use a save point, because this episode's getting a bit long. It's quite dark in here, even for an ancient temple. As a scholar and scientist, I don't believe in ghosts or similar nonsense, but I don't like this feeling. 
Uh, you're fine, buddy. It's okay. Whoa. Show yourself, ghoul! Oh, the little stab with the hammer. Gah, it was my own shadow. Oh, this isn't good. We're fine. We're fine. At least we don't have a creepy voice telling us to, to leave. Uh, like in, um... Uh, Paper Mario 1. That was actually legitimately creepy the first time I did it, but then all subsequent attempts, I wasn't scared anymore because I realized it was just a magic Koopa. Or Tutan Koopa. In this case. Okay, now, tell me you saw that. Was it just a strange shadow? You can't tell me it's just my imagination. It's okay, Professor. You're a man of science. You got this. And boom, 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 boom. Uh, that music's kind of creepy, I'll give it that. Oh, hi. Uh... I... I think it was a shy guy? I didn't even get an opportunity to see it because, like, I was trying to- I was going to hit this wall anyway. So I, like, hit it immediately as soon as he spawns. Poor guy. Sorry about it. Was it something? Tell me it was nothing. I just... I must make it out of here to publish my findings. Don't worry, I'll make sure you get out. Uh, haha. -ha. And haha. -ha. Nope. It's funny that I just got him as soon as he popped out. He went for a jump scare and was like, nope. Just met a hammer to his face. Okay, here's my save block. keep hitting these things because I imagine they're going to do something at some point. But, uh, not right now, it seems. Alright, well, this looks like a good a spot as any to go ahead and save, so I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Paper Mario the Origami King, and I will see you next time.